Добрый день, уважаемые поклонники смешных единоборств. Вы уже могли посмотреть на нашем канале первые бои Романа Зенцова и оценить всю ударную мощь русского молота в боях против голландского гиганта Хермана Вантула и Андрея Орловского. Сегодня мы с вами отправляемся в Голландию, где в первую декаду 21 века проводились турниры Too Hot to Handle, собиравшие очень крутой состав бойцов. По правилам этой организации бои проводились в ринге, а не в клетке, и в них существовали нокдауны. Между голландским промоушеном и молодой российской организацией М1 существовали дружеские отношения, и поэтому лучшие бойцы обоих брендов периодически курсировали между двумя странами и радовали как российских, так и голландских болельщиков зрелищными поединками. 7 октября 2001 года Роман Зенцов выступал на турнире восьмерки на шоу Too Hot to Handle 3. За его плечами к тому времени было две победы и два поражения, а противостоял ему более опытный и мощный боец устрашающего вида Дэйв Вандервин, бывший не только профессионалом в ММА, но и чемпионом Голландии по пауэрлифтингу. Голландский боец обожал рубиться в стойке со своими оппонентами, и лучшего испытания для ударной техники Романа было просто не найти. They do not make you any stronger. And there's Gilbert Ivel, and he's going to be refereeing the match. One of the greatest mixed fights uh, <laughs> fighters in Holland, the wild man himself. And it will be Roman Zensov in the blue corner and Dave Vanderveen in the in the red corner. I think it's good. Gilbert Ivel will probably uh, allow everything. <laughs> <laughs> and Vanderveen trying a jump kick and getting caught with the right hand. Yeah, his defense is not that high. His his guard is not up. Yeah, because in his chin is high up in the air and, and he looks a little stiff. But they're trading, they're winging it here, wild punches, and Roman down on the bottom. And looks like Gilbert's going to restart the fighters. He's got G G G on his chest, or, or on his belly. Or is that a six? <laughs> You're talking about uh, the gladiator. Feet, the gladiator. Yeah, look at it. That's that's one thing that they teach you in boxing gyms is when you throw one punch, keep the other up to shield the chin from the counter punch, of which uh, Dave Vanderveen was not doing, and he got caught. And it looks like they're going to be uh, doing some conferring with the corner. Yeah. Is he cut? I don't know. Maybe a little cut. No, I think it's going to be okay. It should be because it was just one punch and it looks like uh, Dave is ready to go. But there is a cut. And here's the low kick and Dave is leaving himself open with his hands down and there's that left hook right on the jaw. And it's amazing that he didn't go down but he's in trouble, almost ready to do the fish dance. The wobbling dance. And they're still inspecting that cut. It is, it is over the side of the right eye. I think and they should give it a few more minutes. And I'll just one more try, and then it's what it's going to start bleeding all over the place, then stop the fight. But right now, the restart would be great. Yeah, because Dave is still very much in the fight. And I think that this little rest and having the doctor look at it will help him clear his head. So when they come at it, okay, they're going to restart and go again. And Roman's got to be thinking about that left hook again because that seemed to be the successful weapon. But Dave coming in, rumbling, going to the body. The There's that left hook. And Just, again. And he's, Dave is definitely susceptible to the left hook. And I, I would think, I would think that uh, Roman might want to throw a low kick. And there's that left hook again. Dave not keeping that right hand up. Not at all. It's crazy. And keeping his chin high. <laughs> and he can't miss with that left hook. And there it is. That could be the end, folks. And Dave gets up and he's bouncing around, getting wow. another standing eight count from Gilbert Ivel. Yeah, this is now it's not healthy anymore because 
This is going to continue like that. He's not going to put his hands up right now. He's not suddenly going to learn. I'm predicting a knockout here. I think Roman's going to come in and throw the left hook, and there it is. And the knee, straight up the middle by the Russian fighter. Now he's in control, uppercut. It's, he's just one punch away from a knockout, and that one landed behind the head. And it looks like that may be the end. Okay, that's the end of the fight. I think that maybe Gilbert Ivel has waved it off. Yes. That's very smart. You don't want to have some damage here. Yeah, that was it. It was a TKO victory. And the winner, Roman Zenzov. And it was, it was a slugfest. Roman Zenzov from Russia it looked a little bit like a tough man contest in a way. Neither guy really had a great deal of boxing skill, but Roman Zenzov had the better punches. And Dave had the weaker defense, so that combination is going to single out one guy for a sayonara exit. Yeah, weaker had no defense on the left hook. Van de Veer? Van de Veen, yeah. Van de Veen. The man with the less tattoos did win the fight. So, huh? I was right. Yeah, that was that left hook and that, that right uppercut there. And this is near the end, and it was that uh, downward punch right there, kind of landed behind the ear, and 